Hey gang, Jason here for the love of tractors and I've tried to do this video three times <laughs> and I keep getting interrupted and so it doesn't work out. <laughs> it's just one of those things. So I had this in the package, uh, but then I took the, I tore the package apart to get the truck out and I kind of had to do this little nifty pause thing going on and you know, whatever. And I did the let's talk tractors y'all thing and, um, then my phone rang and whatever. So, so here I am, the green light 3500 Dodge Ram with gooseneck. Now here's the really cool thing about this. There's a few variations on this gooseneck and you can get uh, a lot of different options on the trucks, basically. I think they're kind of doing everything from the Dually Driver series, basically. Uh, maybe not every color, but at least every make that they're doing. So I think there's a Chevy and a Ford available, if I remember correctly. Uh, I went with the Dodge. Uh, Dogtown Farms are Dodge people. We're Mopar fans. Um, so, you know, so you can see Dodge, Dodge. So yeah, we we run Dodges here. Um, you know, whatever, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So if the only difference in this than the other dually driver Dodge that I did the video on is this has the green light sort of fifth wheel peg, if you will. So it's not realistic. Uh, if you guys know the fifth wheel hitches usually sit down in the bed and uh, you've got, you know, you've kind of got a thing on your trailer that goes down into that. Greenlight didn't do it that way, and I suspect they didn't do it that way. Uh, one, so they could add this to every truck without changing the um, the the uh, model too much, their tooling too much. And two, I think if you're going to play with this, this is way sturdier than sort of having a, a fifth wheel peg down there. So, anyway, that's kind of all I'm going to say about the truck, because I think what everybody really wants to see is this livestock trailer so here it is uh you know couple wheels i guess tandem tandem axles if you will uh singles on there now this has got some beef to it because it has uh these this die cast floor in here and so it adds quite a bit of weight to this model and so even though most of the trailer is made of plastic, you really don't notice. And also because the finish on this plastic is really great and metallic. So in my opinion, it doesn't have a real plasticky look to it. And I think that's great. So, you know, there you go. Now, so I put, I put one of my model cows that my buddy TMC gave me uh, in here. And he, you know, he fits pretty good. Fits, fits good in there, way back in there. It's hard to see. Uh, let's see if we can't slide him forward. There we go. Moo, if you will. So he fits in there fine. No problems there, right? So let's uh, get him to the side. So the door obviously opens and closes. Here's the back. Uh, great lights back here, here, and your DOT striping here. So that's really nice. There's even so, kind of some like latch. Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I'll get this centered up. There's some latch detail here and all that. So I think that adds tremendously to this model. Give it a shake, door opens up. <laughs> Inside, you can kind of see the grating. No, I mean, it's just cast into that floor, but it looks the part. So it looks great, I think. Moving along to the side again. Well, here's our DOT striping all along the side. And you can see uh, various other little details throughout, including lots of rivet details up here and here. I think that just adds tremendously to this model. And then you might be kind of wondering what the heck this is. Well, so this is, you know, all right, we want it sitting without our truck. Perfect. We just slide that out when we put it on the truck. Like so, we're ready to roll. So I think that's, that's cool too. Uh, you can see up under here, or maybe you saw up under here, we've got a spare tire just in case we have a flat. And then this is, you know, this, the uh, hitch, if you will, just slides into that post on the green light truck. So uh, very kind of simple, easy setup, great for play, great on your model farm. I think it, it this is this is something that looks perfect either place. So neither one of these doors open up, but I don't think that's a big problem. Um, I guess there's some custom potential there if you want to take maybe your jeweler saw around that and make some hinges. But uh, other than that, I don't know that I would change a lot to this trailer, and for the price, I don't think it's too bad. And I'll, I'll be honest, I'm kind of blanking out on what I paid for these, but they're very reasonable. You get the dually driver truck and a trailer. Uh, pretty sweet setup, really. So, as kind of as par for the course lately, Greenlight is killing it. I mean, they are just uh, taking the farm toy world by storm, in my opinion, and... Um, you know, they've, they've made huge inroads 
uh, bringing out things like this, things like the Dually Driver series, things like the uh, their tr their Down on the Farm series uh, with a lot of those classic tractors, particularly those Agcos and Fords, I think look great. So, I don't know, guys. <laughs> you know, I just kind of highly suggest, uh, if you're interested in getting yourself a cattle hauler or a livestock hauler, I guess, this is a, a great place to start. I mean, I know there are kind of other more expensive maybe slightly better detailed options out there from the custom and scratch builders and i don't want to take away from them but if you're on a budget this is the way to go guys this thing looks great so all right hope you enjoyed the review please do the like share subscribe thing i hope you have a great day treat each other well happy tractor hunting